stay in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me, the clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Can we finish this? Let's try fishing. New York City. <laughs> was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. I wasn't sure if I could face the world without my sunglasses and something for my headache. Oh, well, you know this is a uh, remedy game we Those worked over. fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Memory's also enough for, uh, for uh, Max Payne. Guys, welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Alan Wake. Ugh. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. show okay I'll watch TV ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the Harry Gallet show thank you thank you everybody we have a great show tonight I've been talking with the best-selling author Alan Wake about his new book the sudden stop yeah, good read go buy it no, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, though. No. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. You've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the year. But now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So... How's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now.
go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. <laughs> and our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. And... At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspen or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. All right, bro. I guess not. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey, it's almost over, right? We can get back to normal, and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation, just you and me. Some peace and quiet. I've heard this before. Have you guys heard this before? There will be no more TV shows from here on out. This is Somehow, the last chapter, I think. the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. <coughs> Barry. Good luck, Al. See you later. All right. This should be a fun time. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Same page as a reference. Look at those cars. It's a deer fest already? Alright, guys, there is an achievement we're gonna try to do and probably want to. Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, Present? there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Alright, so, we are not supposed to take a single, shoot a single bullet this way. Yeah. But well, daytime shouldn't be that hard, right? I mean, it should be. Go through the rest area. And one of the reasons why we're here is actually at the side. Yes, you have to read the sign. Didn't I miss a sign? I think I've missed one of everything so far. The logging areas don't have anything, right?
Yeah, there's a hunting rifle here. Why? It's daylight. Well... Okay, I don't remember, really. I feel like we're going to get attacked by something, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. It's dark down here. Oh, I have flares in. I like everything. There must be a reason for this. I only have the supply chest. Try this one on purpose to make uh, to make the quota. Slowest runner ever. Oh yeah, I can press this button to go a little bit faster. Stop is through the tunnel. Where's the tunnel? Oh, wait, we're here. Okay, we can't go any further. But before we actually go in here, we're going to this barn. Because the random collectibles are being random again. Can't get in that way, but we get the surface though. Slow hour is slow. I mean, we're already like 13 minutes in the video. We found like we've done nothing besides a few collectibles and a little bit of story. Looks like we're here on foot for the rest of this stuff. So hopefully. Uh -oh. what? The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. to shoot her gun. Hotel, I guess. Oh, we already walked off. Always helpful, but. I'll keep this for now. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Hmm. Dang, 
hundred dollars? No, I'm using no pets. Screw that. One vehicle per unit. Man, that's lame. Golf and thumb is always good. I think we're on foot here on out, though. I'd rather not be. did say room two can we go in his room look after yourself and your co-workers could have fooled me pal Somewhere here. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Three subs free. Let's see. Well, no. I can't even. I can show you what the camp here is all I'm going to do. Because if I. Shoot it. I can't do it my uh, the other achievement. Where is it? Those wait. Well, it should be. Well, like I said, it's not that important working on other achievements. So let's keep moving with uh, Alan here. a good boy.
Continue off the bridge, but the poltergeist. I'll see you then.